Folks, don't try this at home. The boys' plan for making a cable climber starts by welding a carriage frame together out of scrap metal. They'll convert the rims of old cartwheels into pulleys and weld a bike wheel rim onto a pivoting counterweight to act as the drive wheel. As Charlie's goods are hung from one end of the counterweight, they'll provide enough upward force for the drive wheel to climb up the cable. A motor will be installed to automate the entire process. But that's how it's going to work. Cool. Let's get it done. Let's do it. Spencer fires up the generator, and they get right to work cutting the scrap metal down to size. I love the smell of hot metal. Yeah, we'll weld the bottom of the frame together, and then we can start going up with it. The only motor I have is this little electric winch motor. Think that will work? Oh, that would that's be perfect. Awesome. You know, the thing is, a gas motor would be way too loud, and this thing is quiet, so this would be perfect. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks a lot. We'll tell You're Charlie welcome. you said hey. You're welcome. Shoot. What cable I had, I threw in the back of your truck. Y'all have a good day. The first step of building this cable climber is to have four corners coming up and build the frame. We have to weld together a frame for everything to sit on. Well, we got to cut these tires off so we have just the rims left. That way the cable can ride on it, run that through there. All right, so the cable will run from this end to this rim right here, and this whole machine will be able to travel up the cable as long yeah, as it's got yeah, a it'll ride on, on these here. The bicycle wheel will, will push and grab tension on the cable. Yep. Eugene waits no time mounting the first wheel axle to the frame. Then he welds the winch motor to one end of the counterweight. All right, that's finished. Let's lay it in there and see how it looks. Now that we have our pulley system mounted on the frame, we have to install the tensioner, which is going to be a great big 10-speed wheel with a counterweight on it. And the counterweight will push the wheel up into the cable that the wheels ride on, and it'll provide enough tension that when we spin the wheel, it'll make the cable crawler crawl up the cable. All right. All right, look, it looks like it's running fine. Yeah. We just got to get a battery and test it. I'll go get that little battery out of the back of my truck. Now, depending on which pole you touch, determines the direction it goes. Oh, look at there. It works. Yeah. That's a plus. Wow. 